after I just did that, yeah. I've now got all this free time that I'm thinking about other cool stuff that I could do. But that's like, all of that's unnecessary, man. I just use the thing and then the campaigns happen and cool, life's good. Like, that's how I look at it. <laughs>
even easier because I'm doing the same thing that an agency could do by using the software to launch ads for their clients and then instead just making a couple videos to show them how to use it instead. So we just we we were already giving people templates and marketing strategies and systems and building it into um, you know on our software platform, which is uh, built off of high level and go high level and things like that. And we're already doing that, but this is just slotted in and made it easier. They can just choose the templates they want for the profession they are. And then the, this, like you can choose acupuncture or whatever, and then you'll just choose the one that you want to run. And now I'm looking at hiring marketing people to make and improve campaigns so that we just have hundreds of things that are super custom to sub niches and professions within our core, say five that we work with. Yeah. So you can come in and be like, oh, I'm looking at doing a weight loss offer that's got a Chinese medicine take on it. Yeah. I'm like, wow, we got campaigns for that. Click yeah. this button and launch it, you know? You know, it's interesting. So, you know, you didn't come at it from, hey, I'm, I'm an agency and I want to compete with other agencies. You came out with a unique offering and then you brought this in because this was, a, this was something you were already teaching your docs, but mm -hmm. learning, well, and first of all, getting a doctor to log in to Facebook as manager, that's a, you know, that's a trick in and of itself. Right. Yeah. So in this case, they don't even have to log into ads manager. They just go and click, you know, they're in your actual, um, go high level. Do you do an iframe? Is that what you do? Yeah. It's just hosted. And in, in there's an okay. iframe trying to make it easy. Cause like you said, getting them to do stuff is hard because they're busy and they've told themselves they, they're no good at technology. So they believe it. And, uh, and so like long story short, the angle that I've taken with it is not, it's not a front end offer. It's not like me. Yeah. It's just yeah. a, how do I make our life easier yeah. in getting them results? Make it easier for us, less support problems, easier for them so they have less problems yeah. and accelerate results. So our time from start to finish of getting a result has shortened, which means that they can just jump. Like we, we used to teach them niche stuff and then offers and then ads like funnels and then ads and it might take two weeks yeah. to get them to get it going now it's cool it's your first day we'll go and watch this and then they'll have ads live <laughs> and then by so, day two they're getting clients and they're like oh this is amazing yeah so two weeks amazing. turns into two days exactly and and so it's like time to result has dramatically shortened which means perceived values higher um and most importantly, like, I can't stress this enough. We deal with less shit. Like, yeah. that's our thing. Like, I need less people. There's less frustration. There's less sticking points. There's less repeating the same questions, even though I showed you in the video, I made you a PDF and there's a, a checklist because it's now all redundant. There's, because it's, first of all, because it's lead ads, there's no more pixels, no more funnels. Right. Like, that's all gone. But even like setting it up, choosing targeting, uploading images, because it's removed the the ability for them to customize as they're going, ironically, I've taken that option away because they just click a button now. It means they don't try and fix what isn't broken right. and therefore break what was working. Right. Because it's done. So it's just streamlined to the because it's like a it's like a highway, man. Like you can go back streets and you can go for a hike and you know, just camp out or you can just get on, we call it a motorway where I am. You can just hop on the highway or the motorway and just be like, cool, I'm, I'm at the beach. Like, that's what this is. The purpose is to get to the beach. This has just made it easier for them to get to the beach. It's funny because I, I for a long time, I taught Facebook ads and, uh, and I've always been in the local brick and mortar space. That's, I mean, if you were to say, Hey, go run a, an e-commerce campaign, I could do it, but I mean, I'm not as experienced or nuanced as somebody who does that and that's their thing. But the local brick and mortar space, I've always been there. And I used to have a, a marketing group where I would teach them how to do all this stuff. And I was always kind of amazed at all of, thing, all of the things, even people who were doing this as their business, what they would get hung up on, what they would, um, you know, what they would forget to do, the errors they would make. And I'm like, oh man. And they would call me with like, or ping me, whatever, message me with these questions. And I'm like, man, that's like ABC stuff right there. We can't be, you know, if you're going to be running a business where your job is to get leads 
or clients, you got to know this stuff a lot better than what you're doing. And even in my own agency, I, if I want to grow my business, I can't be doing the ads. You know, I can't be sitting there the whole time running campaigns for my clients. Right. And, or I shouldn't even, even say by extension, my partner, Jacob at the time, we would max out at, if we were running campaigns for people at like 25 locations, you know, mm. it was just herding cats after those two, it was too complicated between, you know, launching new campaigns, uh, dealing with performance and optimization. It's just too much. Like it took too much time to start a new campaign or to whatever, not because it's complicated, but because it's cumbersome. And like you said, yeah. there's all these different paths, but we got a pipeline now, just right down the, just right down the pipe. And it's a lot easier. Well, the, the problem I could see if I was an agency and I was doing it for clients is exactly that. It's even though it's identical, it's you're, you're launching this campaign. You've got to go and find the assets. You've got yeah. to go and install the assets, make sure the yeah. things link together. Are they talking? Are they, do, you know, but now instead it's like, oh, their, their fan page is set up to point to the location of where their address is. I don't have to even know where they are. I just have to be like, does your page point to yeah. your location? Yeah. Is that your location? Yes, it is. Cool beans. Let's go. And then it's done because it just pulls that data in and does it. So uh, there's that. The other side of it as well um, was that it is aggregating the data across the clients so I can see yeah. what's performing the best and I can then improve on that by going, well, this image never works for anybody. Let's get rid of it. Yeah. This one does well. Can I beat it? So I can split exactly. this for them. Then I can come out with an update and say, hey, guys, created some awesome new stuff. You know, I've updated this template, relaunch it or whatever. And now they can just get it plugged in and, and you know, working better. So that is actually a huge piece because if you have, if you have 10 locations that are running a templated campaign that you have, you're like, hey, you know, I'm doing this for, you know, a chiropractic offer or whatever the offer is you're pretty confident that that thing works. You've done it a bunch of times, but when you go to a location where it's not working, you're like, well, what's going on? What's the problem here? And when you can't bring everything in and just compare apples to oranges, you can't identify whether or not you have a legitimate problem. It could be as easy as, hey, this campaign, for whatever reason, you can just, hey, stop it and restart it. That could fix your result, right? Or maybe you got a ton of people run the exact same offer so do something different, you know, but that type of information is, it's so hard to get if you don't have a place to like aggregate the data into one visual place. So you've, so you've talked about how you do that. Um, I mean, in the context of your daily operations, talk about maybe what you were doing before when you were, you know, helping people optimize or identify performance issues mm -hmm. and then what you're doing now. So we would have, you know, this troubleshooting training for them to understand their, their numbers and KPIs and then to make decisions, but it was yeah. very much teaching them advertising. Yeah, uh, that's now fun. Now <laughs> it's like, oh, this is your result. Well, this is what it should be. Yeah. And so therefore the only possible reasons is this. So just do this. Yeah. For us. Oh, my internet's back. Somebody says to me, oh, you know, Black Friday, it's affecting my ads. And I'm like, no, nah, it's not. Because look, everybody else's is fine. Um, so instead of logging into individual accounts and finding them again, because it's aggregated, I can just see it all there. And I can make better decisions for everybody involved by being able to see the data for what it is. So if I've got a theory, I can then reference it to the data. Or if my client has a theory, I can reference it to the data. Yeah. Um, the second thing is, is you can actually see how it should be working if it works well look for why, and then modify campaigns to suit other areas that, that might not work well in. Look at images across the board, and I can, with more, because the thing is, if you've got one client running it, and they're yeah. spending 20 bucks a day, versus I've got 100 clients, that's more data, and I can right. then go, this image across the board works better. Right. But I know this clinic is a, in my case, or this business, is a small town. Huh, interesting, look at all the small town ones. Look at all the big town ones. Oh, wow, big towns, this performs better, small towns, this. So then we can make a sub campaign that's a small town version. Like we haven't done this yet, but these are things I'm thinking about with our marketing team is like hyper specific to, to categories of, of, of clients in terms of size of their local town, mm. density of other providers, 
we can then start to look at in one place, pull their data out and go, what are the variables that make these people's ones work better than these ones? And then can I lift those ones up? So across the board, I can make it, I can then have a, a menu for my client success team to say, oh, so you filled out our onboarding and you are small town. And on average, you have this many of this provider in the same area. Therefore, we're going to run these campaigns instead. So as yeah. an agency, you could do that. Or in my case, I can tell them which ones to choose. That is the biggest piece. Like if you look at a scientific experiment, it doesn't mean anything if you have one little itty bitty piece, like an anecdote. That's why there's anecdotes, right? One little piece of data. But when you have, you know, and uh, we, we have a campaign that we run for, and we've been running it for a couple of years. Um, when people have knee pain, we offer them this uh, therapy called knee decompression through a company called Ergoflex. I love Ergoflex. We have a long-standing relationship with them. I love their products. And I love their products because if I want to find people who are, um, who are prospects for a regenerative therapy, okay, that's big money for some of these clinics. Well, I just run that campaign. And I know over the last year, I've probably put through $350,000 to $400,000 into that one campaign. I know what my lead costs are. I know what my click-through rate should be. I know what all of these variables should be. And if something, so for example, this is the coolest part. If my aggregated KPIs are falling, if my click-through rate is falling, I'm like, okay, well, something's getting tired on the ads. Let's go see how our images are doing. Whoop, we need to update those. Boom, it updates across the entire template, right? Problem solved for everyone. It's not just solved for the one click. It's solved for everyone. Conversion rate of the funnel is falling. Oh, look, it was 15, you know, it was a 50% conversion rate. Now it's, you know, 11. That's a pretty big difference. What are we doing? We haven't updated this, that, the other, update it, whoop, goes back up, fixed for everyone, right? Mm -hmm. And so I can fix a problem one time and it can have this exponential effect. Yeah. Whereas any other way, if you, it, first of all, if you don't have the, the, the tools to see Hey, this, this is a problem right here. If you don't have the tools to see that, then you're going to have problems like, you know, non-performance issues and you don't understand why that is. But as soon as you see the problem, you can go fix it. And all of a sudden, boom, I mean, optimizing one campaign, or I'm sorry, optimizing a hundred campaigns takes the same amount of time as it does to optimize one, right? Yeah. You optimize the template and boom, off you go. So as an agency owner, I, I know, so I'm in the agency space and you're in the coaching and keeping them with you <laughs> with, you know, with your software stack. Um, I just, I, I know the amount of work it takes to keep leads coming in. Mm. And I know that I needed a solution to make this, uh, man, uh, this has got to be more simple than what we're doing. You know what I mean? It's got to be an easier way to do this. So hopefully that's what that's what Apex is all about, man. So um, I know you're rushed on time. You've got a coaching call to get on to. Um, we've got a couple more minutes. Um, just a summary of your overall experience and thoughts on anybody, or what would you say to anybody considering Apex as a tool for their agency or coaching business? So look, I think that the easiest thing for me is, is a lot of softwares and, and things can, the possibilities of how you can use it are often so large that it becomes overwhelming because me and you use it, we're all hyped on it. And it's like, yeah, hot damn, there's all these things we can do. And somebody listening is, is thinking, man, that sounds cool, but that's intense. You know, I don't have time for that. You know, it's going to be a lot of work. For example, you sign up for HubSpot and there's just too much stuff. Too much or, stuff. You know, Infusionsoft and there's just too much stuff. So it's like, so you got to look at it. For me, this is how I make decisions. I'm like, fundamentally, I'm going to pay this. What am I going to get? And does that make sense? And then I can do advanced cool stuff later. Yeah. So the way that I looked at it was I pay a fee and it's simpler to launch campaigns for my clients. Uh, and in my case, them doing it themselves, which means less work for us. So what's more cost effective? First of all, paying somebody to troubleshoot all these problems or having a software eliminate all of the problems. Well, clearly that, because now I don't have to manage a person. Number two is, well, will it make it easier for them to get results? Yes. Will they think of me as more valuable? Yes. 
Is it therefore easier for me to give somebody the promise? Yes. And that's why I did it, because that alone more than made my life easier and, and results better, et cetera, that it was justified. All the extra stuff that I've talked about is like, after I just did that, yeah. I've now got all this free time that I'm thinking about other cool stuff that I could do. But that's like, all of that's unnecessary, man. I just use the thing and then the campaigns happen and cool, life's good. Like, that's how I look at it. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, at, at a bare minimum, if all it did was just take the time and effort out of launching new campaigns, that's it. Yeah. Like if I was an, if we, I saw it and I was like, man, I should get into the agency space. And I was like, no, I shouldn't. But anyway, <laughs> um, Cause different business model. Like, but I saw it and I went, this would be so easy. I could just start charging people and run ads for them. Cause now I don't have to do anything. I just click buttons that my yeah. cl clients are now paying me to click instead of clicking themselves. But I said, no, I'm going to stick true to what I do, and which is teach people. But um, yeah, man, if I was an agency, for example, and I just can, can pay someone five bucks an hour from the Philippines to, to click some buttons like, and launch campaigns for clients, oh, this is not working, try the, the knee one. And then my VA, I messaged my VA on Slack, launch knee one for Dave. They just go in there and click buttons. Dave's now got a knee one. Like that would be gold. And I think that's what this does. Um, in my case, I just tell them, go click the knee one. And my client yeah. does it. But equally, if it was an agency, the same thing. And I think that's fundamentally, like that's the value proposition that I bought into. And that's what it delivers on. That's awesome. Well, thanks for your time, James. Uh, appreciate you. And uh, if we could make your life just a little easier, take away the time and the, comp uh, the complexity of running ads, it's worth it. So thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. No worries. Thanks, man. <laughs>